Hi there, welcome to the channel or welcome back. My name is Angela and today I'm going to show you how I changed the hood on my current project that's in progress from this to this. If that sounds interesting, stick around. So before we jump in, just as a little clarification, my quick sew hooded cardigan, the pattern calls for a hood with a center seam and I wanted it to look more like this without the center seam. So it's a three piece hood and I've done one of these before. It was this jacket specifically. So I did have a little bit of like a cheat sheet, if you will, to go off of. Having said that though, I think that this is perfectly doable even if you don't have a template from a previous pattern that you've made up. It just requires a little bit of math and a little bit of a spoiler. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So if you're ready, let's head over to the sewing table and I'll show you how I altered the pattern pieces to make it into a three piece hood. Before we look at the pattern pieces on the sewing table, the first thing that I did before doing all these adjustments was to pull out the jacket that I had made and just measure the center piece width here. I thought that was a good starting point just to make sure I was on the right track and I'm glad I did that because previously without having this jacket right in front of me, I was way off. I thought that that center piece was more like six or seven inches wide. It turns out it was only like the not counting seam allowances, it was four something, four between four and five inches wide. So I'm glad that I took a look at that. And having done that, it made me go back to this pattern, pull out those pieces and just take a look at them to see how they're constructed. So now let's look at the pattern. So this is the quick sew pattern here. And this is the hood piece that you cut two of and stitch uh, the center seam on. So I knew going in that I would be having a seam like at the, at the bottom of the hood section here, there would be a seam somewhere around here uh, based on how wide that center piece was going to be. And then I needed um, the center piece. And I was really glad that I pulled out that old pattern to take a look at it because I was thinking that, and I know this uh, takes a little bit of like a spatial reasoning inside your brain to kind of put these three-dimensional images together, and I just didn't have it for this. I had it in my head that I would, the, the four point something inches that I measured on the jacket, that I would go half of that into this hood piece and then just cut like a parallel line curving around with the hood and that would be my centerpiece. That would have been wrong. Well, that's not how the jacket was put together at least. I don't know if that would have, uh, yeah, I don't, that would not have worked. <laughs> Thinking about it now, that would not have worked. So I did go ahead and pull out the pattern pieces from the jacket pattern. And that centerpiece is, hold this up, it's just basically a rectangular piece the bottom that hooks onto the neck seam is a little bit narrower than the top, which would be at the front of your forehead. So just to give you an idea, it's roughly an inch narrower at the neck edge than it is at the forehead edge. So I thought it may be the safest thing to do would be just to go ahead and use that pattern piece from the jacket, just trace it out and use it to base everything off of. So I'm glad I did that. Um, I think that this would still be doable even if you didn't have a pattern that had a three piece hood on it to use as an example. Uh, it would just need some measuring. I don't, I don't think it would be too terribly difficult, especially now that I've kind of showed you how that center piece needs to be, that it's not just cutting off a slice of the hood in a curvy fashion. So hopefully that will be helpful. So having cut out the center pattern piece, what I did was to measure the width at the top and the bottom and half that, use half of that measurement and just simply 
like I had already traced out the regular hood piece from the quick so the full size hood piece as it is and <clears throat> what I did with that was then to down here at the neck edge I hope this is showing up let me get this out of the way because we don't need that now so th pretend that this was my traced pattern piece before I took a slice off of it and so what I did was to measure half of the width at the neck and then mark that on the full sized hood piece here half of that width mark it and then I did the same at the forehead edge I marked it and it was like just say two and a half inches and three inches something like that counting you know concluding that there was uh, seam allowances in there so then I just cut that strip off uh, kind of grading it from the two and a half all the way up to taking three off up here I hope that kind of makes sense uh, let me um, here in a minute I'm going to show you the original pattern piece again and put this back on it so you can see how much got sliced off there and that worked perfectly it worked like a charm but I did still go ahead and make a mock-up of it in my muslin fabric make sure it works and I basted it onto my cardigan that I'm making just to make sure that it all looked good and everything fit and the one thing that I noticed with my hood muslin or my muslin hood was that I needed to add an inch onto the what's the front opening of the hood here and the reason being is because I had made so many adjustments to the body of the cardigan that this was not going to uh, that I needed to add some extra width onto here just about an inch so I just added that inch on like when I cut out my pieces of the fashion fabric pin this on and just cut the fabric an inch wider than this I hope that made sense uh, let me show you the original pattern piece again and put my amended or adjusted one back on it I hope that you guys are able to see the lines on this pattern piece so if I lay this out you can see where it overlaps I hope you can see here's the edge of the hood here it overlaps about an inch that's my own extra that I added on but you can see that this here is what I took off of the hood piece because that's going to be made up by the center piece and after that it was just a matter of stitching each side hood onto the center hood piece if that makes sense and then basting it on to the cardigan to make sure that it that it matched up nicely that it worked frankly and that it you know was functional hood you know that it looked good so I am going to show you what the cardigan looks like now after having um, tested up muslin the hood basted the muslin made further adjustments to it and then cut out the fashion fabric pieces stitch those together and thinking back even after I cut the pieces out of the fashion fabric I still just basted those together and basted it onto the body just to make sure that it was fine because I don't have any more of this fabric and I'm not sure if it's still available or not but I don't want to buy anymore because it was not inexpensive so I'm going to show you how the hood turned out on the cardigan right now and I have a question for you guys it's um, a design decision question so stick around to the end and I'm going to ask you that so let me see if I can adjust this camera show you the hood I hope there's enough light down here so it is laying really nicely I'm pretty happy with it very happy with it and <clears throat> I didn't have any issues just because I took the time with the tracing and always basting test fitting adjusting so it stitched on it matched up nicely here at where it attaches at the front opening onto the bodice I'm going to turn Gertrude Jr. around here so you can see how it looks in the front so it lays pretty nicely and this kind of brings me to my design decision that I'm going to put out to you guys to get your opinion 
So if you can see the front opening here, what I did, I'm not finished with it, it's just basted like this. I surged the raw edge and I just folded it over. I'm thinking that, so I kind of ditched the directions or the instructions on this pattern once I was veering way off and making so many changes. So I don't remember if there was supposed to be a facing that attaches to this opening. There might have been. I did not want to mess with that. I just simply wanted to turn it over and you know, hem it down. So I, I did, like I mentioned, surge the raw edge, turn it over about an inch, and I just basted it in place. And I am going to ask you guys, do you think that this looks bad because the serger thread is visible and it doesn't match exactly? Should I go ahead and turn it over once more and then stitch it down? Would that look better? I kind of think that it would. Um, this is not meant to be a dressy cardigan, but we still don't want it to be, you know, ugly or tacky or look unfinished or anything like that. Or do you think that for a casual look, that is okay? I'm kind of leaning towards this would be okay if the thread was an exact match, maybe, but it really kind of stands out or not. I would love to get your input or once again, folding it over one more time and it would look like that. So I would love to know what you guys think. Let me know what your thoughts are about that in the comments. Also, let me know if you thought the explanation of changing the hood up made sense. I hope that it did. But if you have any other questions, please feel free to put them in the comments. I'm always happy to answer questions in the comments. And the only other thing, once I figure out this, uh, the treatment on this opening here, then I just need to do the hem at the bottom and I'll be done. <laughs> I'll be ready to move on to a new project. That's all I have to share with you today. I hope this made sense without too much belaboring the point and trying to explain things. I'm not always the best at explaining things and sometimes it's easier when someone is here in person and you can like touch the things with them and you know show them exactly and stuff like that so i hope it was helpful thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and all the days that you do and i hope that you will come back tomorrow for another round of monday matchup it's always so much fun seeing what you guys put as your fabric choices for the monday matchups and other than that i hope that you have had a great weekend and i will talk to you next time